easy effects that you can create with DaVinci Resolve. A popular effect you can use in Premiere Pro is the echo effect, something that's really good for dance videos or music videos. As far as I know, DaVinci Resolve does not have an actual echo effect in these effects, but you can actually recreate one yourself just by utilizing a copy clip. Clip copy, you go over to your inspector tab, go to composite, and drop down in opacity, and say about a good 50% or so. You hit control R, drop down an arrow, and you can, the speed will actually vary depending on your clip. You can just kind of mess around with it till you get the, the look that you're going for. We're gonna go, we're gonna start with 50%. And you can already see there, it's kind of a little echo. So as you play it back, you get an echo effect. Like I said, you can actually change this, the speed of this, depending on your clip and uh, what look you're looking for. We go 75. Just to put a little extra sauce on it, I use the edge detect feature. Go into your effects tab, change it from RGB edge to grayscale, and just change it to a random color. You can change the various, you can change the effect of how you see fit and just create a little cooler outline. Anytime there's a clip on your timeline, once you highlight it, you'll see the little gray notches in the end. You can easily drag them to create a fade in or fade out effect. This is also going to be done with audio. Now this clip doesn't actually have any audio, but you kind of get the picture. If you turn your attention to the little numbers there, you can actually sync up your audio and your video together, utilizing the numbers as you slide. Another popular effect is the double exposure. I got two clips on the timeline, you select one. You can easily just go to the opacity and drop it down. And it gives you, technically gives you a double exposure. We also got the blending modes. So you can go here, let's go add, and then drop, bring the opacity back up. When you use add, it literally adds to the to the picture. So this is like actually a really bad example. If you got two pictures that kind of, or two videos that kind of complement each other, it'll look, it's a lot better, it'll give you a lot better of an effect. So for instance, like this little astronaut. Oh. As you can see there, this, this picture, or this video, is actually shorter in dimensions than the one behind it. So you go to add, and they actually complement each, each other pretty well, but you still get this little line here, which you can just kind of zoom in and get rid of that. So you can, use, you, use, you can either use, <clears throat> so you can either use the opacity to adjust it, or you use one of the blending modes popular one too is screen that actually works better than add because it actually it doesn't have that uh when you use add it kind of gives like this bright shine to it a uh, layer to it kind of for this effect we're going to create like a quick impact shake to do this we want to watch your clip but well, this is a little break dancing b-boy dance clip he knows right when he hit his feet, that's what we want to make the impact clip, or make the impact effect. So to kind of save our spot, we're gonna go right there, we're gonna hit M on the keyboard. And this time it's actually created the marker right on the clip itself, because the clip is highlighted. But if you hit Control Z, undo it, unselect the clip, leave the marker where it is, and hit M. So that way you gotta have, you have it up here at the top of the timeline, or you can have it on the clip, depending on how you want to place it. We're going to your fix tab or your toolbox and grab an adjustment clip. Again, hold Alt and uh, scroll up on the on the mouse wheel. It will stretch out the timeline. If you hold Control and scroll the mouse wheel up and down, it will actually move the timeline up and down. That way, you don't have to be fighting with this little slider like I did for like the first six months or so when I first got DaVinci Resolve clip to match up with the marker only create one for now because you actually hold alt and stroll the 
with hold alt and copy it once you get all your effects done that way you don't have to replicate everything now go into your toolbox and you grab the camera shake effect if i'm not mistaken this is in the free version of davinci resolve if you don't have studio and grab it and drop it on your adjustment clip go to your inspector tab I'm going to turn it up where you get really get a, a good sense of it. So motion blur and, and it's real quick and real subtle. Even though we cranked it, the numbers pretty much all the way up. It's real quick and subtle because it's just a single frame. All right, so my, on my adjustment clip, I actually added the AC tech effect again and I actually did like a little zoom. And it's real, like I said, it's real quick, real subtle. But whatever adjustments you make to the adjustment clip, you can use it for your second impact point. So you hold Alt, drag, hit Control, or hit Alt and the scroll wheel and shorten it up. Place it again. That way you can replicate that clip or that effect as much as you want. Quick tip, if you find yourself making a lot of effect videos like this, using the adjustment clip, Instead of having to recreate uh, them, you can put them in your power band and save them for later. If you don't have your power band shown, you go to view, scroll down to show power bands. So right now it's off. You go back to view, show power bands. And the power band is actually a band that will come up in every project. Anytime you open DaVinci Resolve and go into any project, everything that's in those power bands will be saved. So you just take it, drop it in your uh, power band master folder and just make sure you name it, you know, that way you know what it is. If you actually hit the either the comma or the period key while hold, uh, while selecting the clip, it will actually allow the clip to move a single frame. This is a good way to create a strobe effect. So you're gonna start one frame in, hold the Alt key, select the clip you want to copy, drag it over, and then create an instant copy. Hit the period key and have it move over one frame and just repeat the process. Once you have a few of them copied, you can actually select, hold it alt again, and it will move them. When you move the uh, clips over, it will actually create duplicates of all of them. Hit the period key, play it back. It's a quick little strobe effect. You can actually do this with a uh, solid color or any kind of image like I did here. We almost to 100 subscribers. I do truly appreciate it. And if you got any enjoyment out of today's video, make sure you like and subscribe and cut on post notifications for future content. Be sure to check out the description down below for a variety of affiliate websites with different templates, transitions, presets, and more anywhere from free to paid subscription services also check out my website gxmixmedia.com where you find all these links and more 